Hey guys, it's me, Pedal. It's my Spirit Fans. It's your KD Pass. I want to say thank you guys for this cool, awesome video. This video is part of the Real Life series, and I want to say thank you guys so very, very much for coming back and viewing this next video. Um, first thing I'd like to say is that I do apologize, guys. I was planning on having this series to have these videos a little bit shorter than, uh, you know, shorter than what they kind of are between that 15 and 20 minute era. Uh, but I have a lot of thoughts that I want to convey to you guys and I think that if I don't do them like, you know, straightforward or coherently or things like that or giving a little bit more detail, I feel like I'm giving you guys uh, not the due justice that you need or that you should be getting out of this series. So um, if the videos are a little bit longer, I apologize, but I just want to make sure that I explain things properly, that you guys understand them, uh, that you guys have the opportunity to answer, qu uh, ask questions, and I can give you answers, uh, as well as I do proper explanations so you guys understand. So, um, without further ado, I want to tell you guys some things that I, uh, have accomplished with the Braille Edge 40 by showing you. So give me just a moment. I'm going to switch cameras here and we shall, uh, show you what, uh, what new stuff I've got for you. Okay, guys, so if you're new to the series, if you're new to the Blind Life se or the Braille Life series, uh, I'm going dumb here today. My, my brain's going today, this morning. Um, <clears throat> if, you, if you're new to the series of the Braille Life series, um, what you're looking at right now is the Braille Edge 40 uh, from Hims. And basically, this is a refreshable Braille display. And it allows you to basically create uh, documents and things using Braille in a digital format, uh, you know, a computerized format. And um, it allows you to do different things like re like recording notes, uh, making documents, uh, making different types of documents uh, like Braille documents, text documents, DOC and DOCX documents, I believe. I haven't quite explored into the DOC and DOCX and text documents quite yet. I've been just experimenting with utilizing the .brl, which is Braille documents. Um, so I haven't quite gotten into adjusting the file extensions quite yet, but I wanted to show you guys some things. So uh, we're going to turn it on here first. If you guys want like an, ex an explanation of the device, like a little bit more, please check out the previous videos because I'm going to be kind of speeding ahead uh, in some of these, you know, past the introduction points. So I'll turn it on here. Okay. So once you hear that little chime, you know it's on. Or if you can see visually the, when the light is on here, you, that, that means that it's on. Okay, and then we got our, our um, raised dots here. Uh, if you guys can see these pretty well here, you can see that there's a difference here in the, in the dots that are raised. This is how it is refreshable because you have your different menu options. So let's say I flip it to something else, you know, and then I flip it to something else. But we want to go back to Notepad because Notepad is important. That is what I've been exploring a lot the last couple days. So let's get right into it. So this, so how do you get into Notepad? Okay, so you see these buttons up here, right? So these are your ability to t put, type in inputs. They're allowed to do. You can do keystrokes and things. And there's this uh, these other functions. So with that, some help of my friend of mine, uh, Jordan Strom. Uh, thank you, thank you, buddy, so very, very much. Um, he's had some uh, experiences with Braille displays, and I'm still kind of new to them. And uh, the far right uh, cell, which would be, I guess, would be considered the, uh, I guess, four. This would be four, five, six. So this would be seven, and then this would be one, and then this side would be one, two, three, and then four technically speaking but the but 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 don't i mean don't worry about these these n ones for numbering them this is only for like eighth eighth cell type braille we're only doing two by three which is the typical um six six uh buttons or, or six dot cells for braille so anyways what i'm what i'm trying to get here though guys is that this button right here the far right button is to confirm far left button is to go is to backspace uh you guys will see that utilized in a second and then obviously if you guys don't know this middle button here's the space button so uh but anyways we're going to hit the uh far right button here 
Okay, so now it's going to take us into our different documents. Uh, this one that you can see right here, uh, N O N E or N O N A M E. So this is no name. That's the dot B R L. Uh, that is, I believe, and like I said, I, guys, I'm still learning some of this. I believe that when it does this at the beginning, when you open Notepad, it's allowing you to uh, open a new dot B R L file. Um, so that if you were to click on it, you would have a completely blank set of sales. You could start making, uh, your various, um, document with. So let me actually go to one that I've created though. Okay. Oh, come on. There we go. Okay. So the one that I created, uh, I created with just using my name as the as the title. So P E T E R dot B R L. So it's a Braille file. So to access this, like I said, guys, you go over here to your right, click that. Okay. Then you give it a second, and then boom. So here's my document. So um you guys are wondering well, what what is this that you got in your document? Well, the weird thing is is that when I when I was making my document, I wanted to create uh, my first document. I wanted to do a few different things. I wanted to first learn how to make my you know I mean I knew how to make my name in Braille, but to to make my name on the Braille display was I think a really fun thing. So I just decided to do my name uh, P E T E R and then space, which is no dots, and then E-L-V-I-D-G-E, -E, and then space. And then I repeated it. Here's the uh, first name, and then here's the second name, and look on the end here. So this is important, so this is another thing I found out. So this right here, uh, right, do, 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 right here, I do apologize, guys, I can't camera going kind of weird here I think I think I got a good placement here so hopefully you guys can see this properly so you see these one this one right here uh how the bottom two dots of seven and eight or uh four four and eight I guess <laughs> um uh, well, seven, I, I, I don't know what it is. Seven and eight. I, I, I get screwed up with the eight cell, um, numbers, but basically the bottom two of the, of the two by four available cell are, are raised right here, right? What this means is that this is the current cell that is selected at the moment. So this is like where your cursor is. So imagine this, where's your cursor is. So if I hit like the space button, it'll move to the next cell. Now, if you remember this button up here, this button is the backspace button. So if you look at the cursor back over here, got to find my placement here. There you go. You can see that it goes back spaces. Okay. And then for each, so you're like, well, then how do you put in like, for instance, your name, you know, how does this work? Well, that's basically pretty simple to, to explain. So the idea behind Braille is the idea that you're using certain dots to represent certain letters, numbers, or symbols. So let's make a space here. Okay, so it's clear space right there. It's, there's the cursor. Okay, so um, let's make uh, the easiest one that I can do one-handed here, and hopefully I can get you guys to see this is so this is L, this is A, this is C, or no, sorry, that's B, uh, C, C is this, we got E, and then we got C, I can do G pretty easily with one hand, no I cannot. <laughs> G is, oops, <laughs> sorry guys, I'm trying to do this one-handed for you just so I can show you some examples. Eh. Nope, I can't do G, but <laughs> um, anyways, you guys get the point. So basically the, the L is dots one, two, three, the A is dot one, the B is dot one and two, 
C is 1 and 3, E is 1 and 5, and then so on. So uh, if you want to get rid of those, you know, let's say, you know, I don't want them. They're just for the example of this tutorial. Uh, well, tutorial slash, you know, explanation. You can get rid of them. So, like, now you got your cursor. How do you move your cursor? Well, the idea is, is that each of these cells, the, the Braille cells, has their corresponding key above it. Now, you're like, well, gosh, you know, that's pretty convenient, but what do they do? So, let's say if I wanted to go from this point to my space over here without... Um, back without deleting my my text here and i want to put something in there so what you do is you go up to your 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 uh buttons above your braille cells and then you would go to the one that you want to change and then you would click on it and then your cursor would come back to whichever cell you click on and then you can adjust accordingly so that is pretty fun to know about as well uh Okay, so now I'm going to speed forward a little bit. Now let's say we've made some changes. You know, we want to we want to go out of our document. You know, we want to save it. All this good stuff, right? So, uh, all right. So now uh, I'm trying to re recall here. I believe it is this far right or the far right button in the left set of buttons. Uh, you press that, and let's see here. Yep, so this gives you your file, file the file menu, and then, okay, file, just to make sure I got this here, and then you hit your right button to confirm, and then you got your, uh, let's see, uh, new, so you don't want new, so uh, here's the shortcut, guys, this is how you get to save. Uh, these arrow buttons on the top left or top right will navigate the menus for you. Uh, a quick trick for you if you want to get to save is hit the top button. So you go to the bottom of the list. So you go, this is exit. Uh, this is, uh, see, uh, file, um, let's see, file and... Uh, oh, file explorer. Okay. Or uh, file. Well, it's it's file something. Like I said, guys, I, I'm I'm getting I'm getting used to this. But anyways, our whole point here is finding where this is save say a v e, and then as. So save as. Obviously, you guys know the difference. And then save is save. Now for this tutorial, um. I'm going to just do save. So we're going to go to S-A-V-E and then this little um, code at the end. I haven't quite figured this out quite yet. This will probably be in my process of learning a little bit more. Uh, so we go to save and then we hit the uh, right button up here and then it saves it. And then I don't know, then I don't need to do any more. Now, there is probably shortcuts for exiting, but at least at this point, this is the convenient way that I've done it. So again, hit the right button in the, the far right button in the four set of left uh, buttons on the left side. And this brings up the file menu. You hit the OK. And then you go to, you flip up one and then EXIT. And then you hit the OK button. And then you're back to your notepad and you're back to your main menu. So then you hit these arrow buttons and you can start going through the different um, different other applications. Now, the big the reason why, like I said you, you to you guys, the reason why I wanted to show you guys this was not only the idea of what a Braille display is and things, but... You know what I've learned, but also at the same time, um, it's important. I find it's important because, like the 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 word document, or I mean the the, the um, notepad, or being able to create documents was one of my most important things that I wanted to learn the last couple of days because I wanted to make sure I have that process down, that I have some sort of a um, strategy. You know, so because I'm going to be using that tons. 
uh, for utilizing learning uh, Braille concepts like grade two Braille and things, um, structure and uh, all that good stuff. So I wanted to make sure that I had a strategy, that I had uh, a thing that I was doing. And um, I thought I'd show you guys kind of like what I've learned. You know, I learned how to create a document, save a document, rename a document. That's the other thing too. So um, when you go in here, when you go into Notepad, uh, like I said, you your for when you first load this up, right? Uh, by the way, you also need to have your SD card inserted when you use Notepad. Otherwise, it will not initialize Notepad. It needs somewhere to save it. I am guessing that this does not have any internal memory. That is something I didn't know right offhand. So it's best to have an SD card for the files. Anyways. When you open this up first with Notepad, you have no name. That is the no name dot brl. Uh, that basically is like, uh, you, you know, basically it said the the default document. You know, like it, it's like no name is like you, if you were to open up like Word or uh, Pages or whatever, and it would be just, just a untitled document. Uh, so you can click that. And well, why don't I just do that for the sake of so you guys understand? So if you click on this and you want to create a new document. Oh, well, whoops. Well, I guess I, I guess this was an actual document, but I guess <laughs> I guess I didn't lead it. So I guess the, the no name was an ex was one of my experimental documents where I wrote my name. Um, OK, so let's see. I get it. Get it. Um, do, 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 do. Give me a second, guys. Do, 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 do. And exit and no name okay uh oops oh I'm back to notepad sorry notepad no name okay okay so this is my document Okay, so like I said, guys, it's, it's, I'm still getting used to, to a lot of this. There we go. There we go. Yeah, so this is what it looks like to have a completely new document is that it starts with the cursor on this end. All of the cells are blank, and then you can take your resulting um, keys on top here. So key one, or oops, <laughs> key, key one, key two, key three, four, five, six, and then L, E, um, A, you know, you guys get the general idea. It's kind of, it's, it's, it's a really fun process here for, for learning. Um, I guess it's actually a good way to, to do this. So if you're in a new document <clears throat> and you go to file and then you go to exit it's going to give you a prompt this is uh save and then it'll say yes or and then it'll say or no and the idea is that the fourth row of dots uh the seven and eight dots uh in the cell of eight is going to be raised this means that it's underlining the current selection of what you of what you want so right now Yes is currently um, yes is currently raised. We want to go to no. So now no is raised, and then you hit the save button, and it doesn't save it. And oh, yep. Now we're back to Notepad. And now we're back to no name. And there's my, there's the document that I created. Now, like I said, guys, is I'm getting, like I said, I'm still getting used to these functions. Um, the other thing too is, like I said, there's keystrokes, there's ways of exiting out of like notepad and, and um, things like that. Uh, I can't really show those very well. Um, withholding a camera but <clears throat> I think it was like 
one, three, I think it's like one, three, four, five exits you out of different, um, different functions or di or different menus, so to speak. So that is something to keep in mind as well. Like there's different ways of navigation, but, um, yeah, I think this is a good, a good place to stop because like, you know, I, I apologize guys if these are a little bit longer, but the, the, the reason being is because I want to make sure that things are explained correctly. I give you guys your just understandings of what's going on, of what I've learned, how things are implemented, what a braille display is, all the great different stuff. Um, and, you know, I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to be trying to glass over a lot of, you know, like the introductory stuff, you know, like the selector, uh, braille display, things like that. As I continue on, these are just still the, the introductory kind of things, I guess, so to speak. So once I kind of get uh, more of a continuous flow, there won't be so much introduction anymore, uh, which might, might make these a little bit, um, a little bit uh, quicker. But otherwise, guys... That is it for this particular video. I want to say thank you guys so very, very much for viewing the, the Braille Life. Uh, if you guys got any questions, comments, you know what to do. Like, favorite, and share the video if you'd be so kind. Subscribe if you're not a subscriber. more more content coming out. I still want you to miss it. Otherwise, remember that perseverance is your key to the impossible. And I'll see you guys in future videos.